what's up beautiful people welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Andy aka the dynamite natural I make natural hair and girl talk videos so if you love this sort of content don't forget to subscribe down below and turn on your post notifications to all so that you can be notified each and every single time I post a new video okay so for today's girl talk we're going to be talking about how to overcome procrastination okay <laughs> okay so have you ever been in a situation where you're seriously working to complete um, a task you know and the deadline is in the next 30 minutes is in the next one hour and deep down while you're working you are you beating yourself up like oh my god why didn't I do this sooner you know and because you know that you had ample time that you could have gotten the work done does it sound familiar because if so I'm that I have definitely been in your shoes I feel like ev almost everybody can relate right now procrastination is all is always confused with laziness but it's different okay with procrastination procrastination is an active process where you choose to do something else instead of the task that you're supposed to do while laziness is a feeling of apathy inactivity and unwillingness to act okay so here's here are a few ways i'm going to you know give to you on how to overcome procrastination the very first way to overcome procrastination is get rid of catastrophizing this can be related to um making a big deal out of something you know like thinking about how tough how tiring how boring that task is going to be or how much work you have to do you know that's catastrophizing making a big deal out of it you know making a big deal out of it you know it, you feel like it's going to be tiring it's going to take long i mean it's going to take so much from you to complete that task but in reality yes it's going to be boring yes it's going to take you a whole lot of time to complete what you have to do but you should know that it won't kill you that work won't kill you it won't make you sick it won't take yes it's going to take something from you but then think about the joy that you will have when you completely complete the task when you you know complete the task okay so this hard work it doesn't pain <laughs> okay so instead think about the accumulated pile of work and stress that you will have if you don't get it done on time think about all the stress that you have and the last minute pressure that you're going to have when it's time you know when the deadline for the task comes and start doing that work today okay the next way to overcome um, procrastination is do the task for a few minutes the thing with procrastination is that we take a longer time um, doing distracting ourselves and doing things that are not really important to delay starting the real thing okay now to combat this the zeganic effect comes into play which describes how once you start um, your project your brain remains alert until you finish it this is similar to the five minute trick that i explained in my last video in my video how to stay motivated if you haven't seen that video check it out right here how to stay motivated i explained the five minute um effects there so what it is is that when you start a is a when you start uh, the zeganic effect is when you start a project when you start a task the brain has a natural inclination to see that job to completion to see that task to, to completion so just start the task for a few minutes starting a task is you know the hardest part but when once you start and you you know just keep doing it the brain's natural desire to see it through to completion will take over. The next way to overcome procrastination is do the hard and important task first. Our daily biological clock, otherwise called circadian rhythm, keeps us or makes sure that we stay alert to at least 10 a.m. in the morning. Then after that, we definitely suffer the what is called the midday dip. Okay. The harder the tasks are, the more energy and concentration you need to complete them. So do those harder and more important ones first in the morning when you you get up and you know you, you still have that strength and you're still alert at that particular point. Because trying to start when you are tired or difficult is what results in most people 
pushing the task up to the next day. So the next way to overcome procrastination is give yourself a short deadline. Usually the further away an event is or the deadline is, the less people think about it or care about it or treat it as important. Imagine you have a project or a task that you that which whose deadline is um, in a month's time. Imagine you're not going to do, you're not really going to care about it. Would you want to start that job today? Be honest to yourself. You will not start it today. So what you want to do is give yourself a short deadline, okay? That you that, and make sure that you start doing what you want to do. What this does is when you give yourself the short deadline, don't just set the short deadline and be like, okay, I'm going to get it done by this day. Keep repeating it to yourself. When you keep repeating it to yourself your brain automatically feels like okay what you keep saying is the original date or deadline of the of you know what you want to do and it will push you to do what you want to do so like i said to break through that a short deadline um keep give yourself a short deadline and always keep repeating it to yourself this will do the trick and it will trick your brain into believing that that is your original deadline. It's like when I want to film my YouTube videos, you know, if you just, if I just stay, I may not get anything done. I may script one or two videos for one week. Okay. So what I do is that I give myself a deadline. I tell myself Tuesday next week. I have to film Tuesday next week I have to film okay I keep repeating it to myself this will push me to work on any present videos that I have at the point any videos I need to edit and get out so that I can script do my research and you know do my work do my research for the next set of videos script it and edit and and film right so I keep repeating it to myself this makes me feel like that is the day that i need to get this done okay i give myself that short deadline i keep repeating it to myself this pushes me to do what i have to do and it makes sure that by exactly tuesday i am ready to film a new set of videos so that is that is how i get through it so you know there's that so the next one is optimize your environment it's hard to get any real job done when you are constantly um, turning your face to see what's going on on the television or you are constantly checking your Facebook to see you know your friends Facebook status update you are not really going to get not really you are not going to get any job done okay so during your scheduled time for working on your task eliminate those distractions turn off your phone or put it away or put it at do not disturb and get your work done okay put your phone away turn off your television and all social networking um sites if you need your phone because sometimes i know that you need your phone or your laptop or whatever to do your job what you do what i personally do is when i know i'm going to just um I'm going to use my phone I put it I do not disturb I usually put it at a plain mode so that I do not get any f- sort of disturbance I I also listen to music I put on a calming music that will make me concentrate and block off dis- distractions and I get to work that will help you to get through it if you're going to be using if you really need to use your phone to do you know what you want to do the next way to overcome procrastination is reward good behavior establish a reward for if and only if you complete the task you know usually you use um now let me give you a very good instance usually you use um some of these other things are just as distractions you know there's the next episode of the, your favorite Netflix movie or this new episode, your um, new series your friend told you about and you're like, you know what, let me just scan through or you know what, let me just, um, let me just watch the first episode or let me just check my friend's status update or let me just check that new television series. Instead of letting that to be a distraction to you, use that as a reward. Tell yourself, okay, if I am done with this particular task, then and only then i will do or i will you know go and see that series okay so like i said 
use those rewards for when you're actually done with your task instead of using them as distractions. Seventh way to overcome procrastination is drop the perfectionisms. Okay, so perfectionism is an all or nothing um, behavior or an attitude. When you have this sort of tendency, you tend to wait for the right time or the perfect time to start or to you know continue a project or else you leave it undone or unfinished you wait for the perfect time to start when you have this kind of attitude it holds you back from completing your tasks this attitude holds you back from starting and or completing your task instead focus on being better instead of being perfect start and strive to complete it to the best of your ability okay now the last way to overcome procrastination is Pay attention to the thought creeping in. This ties to number two. As you're doing your work, you can catch yourself having thought of, um, I don't feel like doing this now or I'm going to have time to do this later. When you catch yourself, when you, you're doing stuff and you begin to catch yourself thinking these thoughts, then know that procrastination is about to creep in. Catch yourself at that point and remember tip two. Try to concentrate on the task for a few minutes. Once you start, the brain's natural desire to see the task to completion will take over, okay? So pay attention to those procrastinating thoughts creeping in and, you know, remember um, tip number two that I talked about. Concept, start to do this um, task for like a few minutes and then the brain's natural, you know, desire to see the um, task to completion will take over and then you can carry on and complete your task okay okay so that is it for today's video i hope these tips will help were helpful um how do you tackle or how do you overcome procrastination let me know um your thoughts or the way you do yours down in the comment section let me know too in the comment section down below i hope these tips were helpful now if it was don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe down below and turn on your post notifications to all so that you can be notified each time i post a new video please don't forget to to thumbs up it helps me out a lot and share this video with your friends as well um so that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching and follow me all up on my other social media platforms right there on the screen facebook and instagram at the dynamite natural thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video i love you bye